special moment and uh, to be able to play two finals in a row at this tournament uh, means a lot for me. Mona, if you look at uh, the same day but last year and now, how do you describe the arc of these past 12 months for you? What stands out the most for you? Well, I think it's the same uh, pleasure, the same uh, happiness that I'm in this position again. Uh, it's a very special moment and uh, to be able to play two finals in a row at this tournament uh, means a lot for me. And uh, as you all know, it's my favorite Grand Slam. I feel like home here. It's uh, it's nice to be to face another big challenge. In the middle, please. Simona, uh, what has been your most valuable learning uh, out of the last uh, three uh, Grand Slam finals that you've played? That is just another match and uh, it's not going to be something special. It doesn't matter the result, so I have uh, just to go there to try to play my best tennis, try to fight for every ball, and in the end we'll see who is going to win. Simona, what, if anything, has changed most in your life since the la in the last year? Nothing much, just uh, normal things. I'm still playing tennis, I'm still working hard every day. Um, maybe I am uh, smiling more. Simona, yesterday you said you wanted to remain positive and talk about how wonderful the weather was outside. And I would like to speak to you about the weather now. So please tell us what would be the ideal conditions for you tomorrow in terms of the weather, the atmosphere on Chatrier and the clay surface to help you play your best tennis. Anything but not rain. So if it's going to be okay to play, it's going to be the perfect weather to play the match. So it doesn't matter. Um, the crowd is there anyway, and it's very beautiful atmosphere every time I, uh, I play on Châtelier. It's nice, and um, it's very special that I have another chance to play there. Rose and um, one of the highlights over, um, at, over the last 12 months was seeing you get the number one and hold on to it. You told us that you um, wanted the chance to have it and to, to prove that you could do it. And we think you've worn it quite well. Do you think that's given you a little bit more confidence coming into this final now? Well, for sure, I'm a little bit different because uh, I have more experience. Uh, I'm more relaxed about uh, this situation, but... Uh, you know, you never know. Every match is different and um, I cannot expect anything for tomorrow. I just uh, expect uh, myself to give everything I have and to try to play my best tennis. Um, it's nice that in 12 months I've played uh, one more final uh, in Melbourne. So I feel um, good. I feel great in this position and uh, hopefully tomorrow I will be better than previous ones. Green and then Ben and then next. <laughs> <laughs> Simona, uh, Sloan last year, her US Open was a big breakthrough moment for her. I was wondering what was your reaction to her winning that tournament? What do you think is the most special thing about her? It was really amazing what she, she did uh, last year. Uh, without playing like nine, nine months or 11 months, uh, she came and uh, after two tournaments she won a Grand Slam. So that's pretty amazing. Uh, I know that she's a great player. Um, she's powerful as well, so um, tomorrow I will face, um, maybe it will, be, it will be a similar match to yesterday, so I'm ready for it. Uh, I played a few times against her, I know what I have to play, but uh, it's clay, so it's going to be different. It's a final of Grand Slam, different. So, um, yeah, I have just to say that she was amazing what she has done last year for US Open. There's often a lot of Romanian fans at your matches and they chant and sing all sorts of different cheers for you? Do you have a favorite one that they do? Well, I don't really remember because <laughs> I try just not to, to hear that much uh, what is happening on court. But every time when they clap and uh, when they are like very happy when I do a nice point, it's nice. Next thing. Simona, if someone was to say that you have more pressure on you tomorrow versus Sloan, would you agree with that notion? And then you also said, you approach the, the final uh, just like any other match. How do you actually do that mentally? Well, I don't know who said that I feel pressure. Uh, not me, obviously. Um, I don't feel pressure. I feel that uh, it's a big challenge for me and um, it's a big uh, chance to win one of my, uh, my dream tournament. 
but uh, this doesn't mean that it's gonna happen or something like that. I have just to play like I did yesterday. It's a normal match uh, I played against this opponent, so we will see what is gonna happen tomorrow, but I just want to be smiling on court. We've had a last one in English yet. You have a, a better record, a 5-2 record against Sloan. You've beaten her both times on, you've played her on clay. Does that give you more confidence or do you not think about that? Well, I don't want to think about that because, uh, as I said many times, it's a different match, different situation, so uh, both of us will be ready to give everything we have. Uh, but I believe in my chance, I believe that uh, I have the, the game to win the match, but you never know. So I just want to wait and to see tomorrow how it goes. Okay, thanks everybody. We're going to switch to Romanian in a moment. E extraordinar că mulți oameni au venit să, să mă susțină și să mă vadă pe viu. And uh, as you all know, it's my favorite Grand Slam. I feel like home here.